welcome to mathematics lecture series this lecture uh, our topic is inverse laplace transform by partial friction method lecture number 16 in the laplace transform we start from the example to understand the method uh, partial friction evaluate Laplace inverse 4s plus 5s minus 1 square s plus 2. Here, uh, degree of this polynomial is less than degree of numerator is less than degree of uh, denominator. Here, degree of s is 1. Here, uh, degree of s is 3. So, in that uh, condition, in that uh, type of friction, we use the partial friction. So 4s plus 5s minus 1 square s plus 2. This is a quadratic uh, term and it is repeated. So we adopt this method: a upon s minus 1 square plus b minus s minus 1 plus c. That is other friction, other s plus 2. So multiply both sides: s minus 1 square s plus 2 square. Multiply both sides. So s minus one square s plus two here is vanish. Rest is four s plus five here. S minus one square will vanish. So uh, so a uh, a times s plus two here. S minus one square s plus two. So one s minus one will vanish and other is s minus one s plus two. Here s minus one square s plus two in multiple, so s plus two will vanish, and we have the rest s minus one square. So we name it. This is equation one. That is equation two. Now uh, apply the method. These uh, terms s minus one equating zero, and you will have s is equal to one. Put in equation number two in that polynomial. So we get replace here four times s is equal to one. So four plus five nine. Here s is equal to one. So a into uh, a three a it becomes three a. Here s is equal to one. So this b uh, multiple s one minus one zero b multiply zero and this will goes to zero. S minus one is zero. So c is also. Multiple, so it becomes zero. So we have just a is equal to three. Similarly, other we have the term s plus two, make it equal to zero. So apply this s is equal to minus two. This value put in equation in equation number two. So s four here s replace with minus two. So minus eight. So we have the minus three. S plus two is equal to zero. So a will goes to zero. B here s is equal to minus two minus three. S plus two here is so b also goes to zero. C here s replace with minus two. Then minus two minus one is square and that one becomes nine c. So multiply both sides. Uh, divide both sides nine, so you will have c is equal to minus one by three. Now we have to find uh, b. For that, you rewrite this equation: four s plus a s plus two. Just s minus one multiply with s plus two, so we will have s s square minus plus two s minus s, so it becomes plus s plus minus minus two, and c. S uh, open that bracket. S square minus 2s plus 1. Now compare the coefficients uh, both sides of s square. Here is there is no any coefficient of s square. So 0 is the coefficient of s square. Here b is the coefficient of s square. Here plus c is the coefficient of x square. So From that equation, we have b is equal to minus c, and c we have the value of c. So apply the value of c minus into minus one by three. We have b is equal to one by three. 
a3 b c minus uh, c minus uh, 1 upon 3 and b is 1 over these all values put in the equation number 1 so we will have a replaced with 3 b replaced with 1 by 3 and c replaced with minus 1 by 3 they are partially separated partial frictions has done now taking both sides inverse transform so laplace inverse we have to find of that so 3 laplace inverse of 1 over s minus 1 square 1 by 3 laplace over 1 minus 1 by laplace 1 over s plus 2 3 what is laplace inverse of 1 over s minus 1 square of course here we use the property multiple of t you can also repeat from the playlist so here we here is 2 so we write the t and s minus 1 is the e power t 1 by 3 laplace inverse as s minus 1 of course e power t this is also a property shifting property you can watch a video from the playlist we have done minus 1 by 3 and what is laplace inverse of s plus 2 there is a missing uh, it becomes s e power minus 2t if here is a minus so plus you have to write e plus t where is a plus then you you have to write e power minus 2t so you must add here e power 1 by 3 e power minus 2t example number 2 3s plus 2s minus 1 s square plus 1 yeah, you can also see that and numerator has the unknown s degree 1 here and denominator degree 3 so we can use the partial fraction so a over s minus 1 this is a quadrate aggregation for that we take in that way fraction bs plus c bs plus c over s square plus 1 Similarly, multiply both sides this denominator s minus 1, s square plus 1. If here we multiply s minus 1, s minus 1 will be vanished, s square plus 1. In multiplication, s square plus 1, these two will vanish. So we have the rest 3s plus 2. A, s minus 1. We have to multiply s minus 1 will vanish so we have the rest s square plus 1 bs plus c we have in multiplication here s minus 1 so s square plus 1 will vanish and we have the rest s minus 1 so s minus 1 made it equal to 0 so we have s is equal to 1 so s minus 1 this will whole goes to 0 in, in right hand side 3 s is equal to 1 so it becomes 5 here s is equal to 1 so it becomes 2 a is equal to 5 by 2 now uh, equating the term containing s square now both sides uh, write the coefficients of the s square here is no term of s square it means coefficient of s square is 0 here s square a so first coefficient of s square a in the left hand side here b s square so another coefficient of s is b so b is equal to minus a minus a is already we have found that 5 by 2 so minus 5 by 2 is a now put s is equal to 0 in the equation of that s is equal to 0 so here s is equal to 0 we have in right hand side 2 s is equal to 0 we have the a s is equal to 0 then we will have just s is equal to 0 so we have just c to a plus c so take the a and both sides a subtract minus a you will have c is equal to 2 minus a and you know that we have find the a is equal to minus minus a is equal to minus 5 by 2 a is equal to 5 by 2 so a replaced with 5 by 2 so 2 is lcm 4 minus 5 over 2 so 4 minus 5 becomes minus 1 by 2 so c is equal to min minus 1 by 2 
a is equal to 5 by 2, b is equal to minus 5 by 2. So all values a, b, c put in equation in that equation. One. So we have left a 5 by 2, b minus 5 by 2 and c 1 by 2. So taking both sides Laplace inverse 5 by 2 Laplace in 1 over s minus 1. Separate these 5 by 2 Laplace in s over s square plus 1 plus 1 by 2 Laplace inverse 1 over s square plus 1. What is Laplace of 1 over s minus 1? Here is a minus so e plus t. Here s over s square plus 1. This is uh, cos t Laplace. Here is 1 over s square. This is sin t. We have all these uh, basic formula have been in the previous uh, lectures. So you must watch the playlist. Example 3 is very simple and there is a solution is given. So I recommend you kindly solve yourself to watch uh, this slide. Example 4 is also it's very easy. It's just like example number 2. So I also suggest you you solve this example for any confusion any suggestion you can ask me in comments. Thank you. Uh, kindly subscribe my channel and like the video. You find more videos on mathematics and cross transform. Thank you. Thank you.